Hello, this is Dr. Hyatt Frobos with Gestal here this morning. I serve as the nutritionist and U.S. business director for our company, which is based out of Quebec City, Canada. And I'm here to talk to you today about the Gestal Quattro, which is the fifth generation of our lactation feeding system that we've been developing since 1994. We currently feed over 800,000 sows in over 20 countries with our electronic sow feeding system in lactation. And I want to talk to you about what's different about the Quattro from our existing system. But first, I want to step back and take a time to opportunity to get, give a little bit more description about what the feed system does in general. The Gestol feeding system in lactation is designed to not only increase your feed intake by stimulating the sow to get up and eat several times per day, but eat smaller meals staggered out throughout the day. Also reducing feed waste by keeping those as small meals that keep the feed fresh and in front of her. And overall we've seen results that point to about a one and a half to two pound per day of lactation savings of feed with no difference in terms of body weight utilization or, or piglet growth. So we've got some existing things that help managers find the low intake sows, find the wasteful sows, and make your herd more uniform in lactation, reducing the number of outliers you have, which ultimately increases your herd's performance and productivity, and extends the value of a good farrowing manager over more sows. He can quickly identify those problem girls and make those changes. While we know that the girls that are clicking along the way they should be don't need a lot of extra management and, and time. That's, that's what our feeding system has been designed to do since 1994. Today, we're releasing a new patent pending program that offers additional features beyond the Gestol Solo, which has been our mainstay in lactation. The Gestol Quattro leverages all of those existing assets that the feeding system has with additional tools. First of all, we have the ability to control with, with one outlet, so we can use the same outlet for the heat lamp as well as the Gestol feeding system, which reduces your electricity line requirements in the barn, but we also have the ability to put this heat lamp on a variable intensity heat curve, which can save electricity and also create a more consistent environment for those piglets, which has been shown to increase growth and keep the pigs more comfortable and reduce pre-weaning mortality and, and lactation. So that ability not only has electricity savings, but the ability to increase piglet performance as well, all controlled through the Gestol system. And it can even tell you when a light bulb burns out. It sends an alarm back to the computer to make you aware of that and send your maintenance guy to make those changes. In addition to that, we have another control that control a second heat that can control a heck a second heat lamp, which can be on off, but also it has the capability to control a second feed feeding delivery system. So there's some exciting research that's going on in the ability to phase feed sows in lactation, possibly matching up her early lactation requirements, which are focused on milk yield or milk quality, versus her late lactation requirements, which might be more focused on milk yield. That's an exciting thing as a nutritionist about the next frontier of meeting the sow's nutrient demands at different stages of lactation. An additional component that uh, we have a big screen here developing is we have a handheld app that we've put on a smartphone. You can put this on any Android operating system that you have. Uh, you can find it at your local Walmart or any other store. But this app is designed to help make management of your system as well as your farrowing performance more efficient for your people in the barn. So here on the screen you have an example of the ability to record your farrowing performance in terms of number of, of pigs born live, number of stillborns, number of mummies, as well as things such as the available number of teats on this sow before she starts farrowing, so that after that day's worth of farrowing is completed, we can understand which sows need to have cross-fostering accomplished to help facilitate that process faster. Another exciting feature of this uh, app is the ability to tell the system when a sow has started farrowing, and it can put an alarm on the, t on the phone or on the feeder itself to start flagging the workers if they need to check her within 30 minutes or a set time frame to go back and make sure that farrowing is progressing as, as planned. So those are some of the different features of the system. But well, I wanted to quickly demonstrate how if you activate the trigger, that's going to start typically delivering feed and you might not be able to hear the feeder, but it's going to deliver that small meal of feed. During that time, our heat lamp actually goes off so we're not drawing electricity from both, both appliances at once. And as soon as that feed delivery is back, back, on, uh, back off, the heat lamp's going to come back on and providing that heat for the piglets again. So we're able to really match this up with electricity demands, but also matching up with the sow's requirements to better feed sows and better manage the piglet's environment. So with that, I'd like to thank you for your time this morning and thank Farms.com for the opportunity to speak with you guys.
If you'd like more information, I'd encourage you to check out our website at www.jigatech.com. This video is brought to you by Farms.com.